hello friends uh, today we are going to make a sieve analysis and uh, hydrometer analysis on excel sheet so let's start uh, we have data such as uh, sieve numbers which we use in the test uh, 3 by 4 inches 4 10 and whatever you want to add so and their uh, sieve sizes uh, means their diameter is also given 19.05, 4.75, 2.36 and 0.075 so <coughs> we will perform test in labs and uh, we will write here the weight retained so I have some readings uh, like uh, 0 and 20.4 oh sorry 20.4 Thirty nine point zero nine sixty three point four two eighty nine point five six and one thirty point five six and one fifty point uh, four. Okay, uh, our this uh, the sum of this weight retained uh, must be less than uh, the total weight. So we will apply here formula uh, is equal to sum and c means uh, weight retained c uh, 10 means weight retained of column 10 column c and row 10 and apply ratio of c 16 to get the sum and now we will be going to find a percent retained gram percent retained gram we have a formula for percent retained gram c 10 multiplied by 100 and divided by d dollar d dollar 5 and d dollar 5 the total gram total uh, gram of uh, soil which we taken and dollar is to fix this uh, uh, amount uh, 500 so we will press the enter and just drag with this plus and the small plus and the other answers will automatically be converted here and be written or now we will going to find uh, accumulative percent retained and the formula of accumulative percent retained is uh, d11 and d11 uh, first of all uh, we will put uh, zero on the because uh, in accumulative uh, frequency first is uh, same and in second we will apply is equal to d11 uh, plus e10 and uh, this will give uh, us answer the 4.04 now we will drag it with this small plus uh, to get the other answers oh that's good uh, okay now uh, we are finding passing percent and for passing percent uh, uh, we will apply the formula is equal to 100 minus e10 okay and now we will uh, get the passing percents and uh, by dragging by this small plus we will be able to find uh, the other percentages of the passing percentages so uh, this uh, looks uh, good and uh, now we will find gravel uh, to find the gravel uh, we, we we have a formula uh, finding uh, for gravel we have a formula 100 uh, minus uh, uh, 100 minus g g11 uh, from where uh, the passing in of the weight retained so now we will find the sand percent uh, by the formula uh, is equal to g11 minus g16 and now we will find silt and clay percent uh, uh, in the we have a formula 100 minus and uh, gravel and sand uh, g5 minus g6 so we will get the answer 1.314 so for uh, making this code we will make here uh, the table and the outside borders we will draw here the outside borders uh, and here also we will draw the outside borders to make this uh, looking good 
and so now we have we have made the sieve analysis test calculation and now we can able to draw the graph of this sieve analysis test uh, by insert going to insert and uh, to this uh, scatter and this graph you will take this graph and drag it here and now you have to add the data from select data select data add data and series name uh, you will uh, give it this name as a particle uh, particle size particle size distribution uh, curve so now give uh, the x values the x values are the sieve size uh, no and the x values uh, are the uh, sieve size yes uh, now you will give the y values which are the uh, passing and so you have this graph here Uh, so now this is the graph drawn. Uh, we will uh, change this uh, axis or uh, these numbers uh, from this uh, by selecting the this axis option. Here we will give the minimum, uh, which is 0 0.001 because of uh, the sieve size 0 0.075. Uh, we will give here 0 0.01 and. <coughs> And this value uh, I am giving the 100 major uh, major 10 and minor also 10 so if this axis value logarithmic scale values in reverse order uh, okay and uh, this side is set it <coughs> uh, now we will set this on the y axis and by this uh, axis options and go there here we have a minimum 0 and the maximum we will take 100 maximum is 100 and that same automatic there is no we will, no need to change anyway uh, yes you will change here labels uh, labels to label position to high to they take this to the left side oh okay that's good now we will are going to make the grid line uh, to show grid line select this uh, right click on this and here add minor grid lines uh, you can see here small uh, so light lines are added to increase their width or their color select them i'm calling them black and their size i think it's enough uh, okay so this is our uh, particle size distribution graph of sieve analysis test. Uh, sieve analysis test done. Now we will going to and uh, draw the hydrometer analysis test. So so in hydrometer analysis test we have weight of soil 50 gram, alpha uh, 0.99 and zero correction. Uh, zero correction which is uh, we have almost five and meniscus C of one so we have a lapse time 0 0.5 1 2 5 10 15 30 60 which and uh, the readings which we, uh, on which time we have we have taken and temperature at 28 degrees celsius and drag this uh, by the small plus and these all are on also get uh, so the temperature correction is 2.5 you can get this from internet uh, yeah and now drag it down so actual hydro reading and yes you when you perform uh, you have reading i have my readings and uh, like 54 uh, 50 47 45 39 34 23 and 70 so correction hydro reading we have formula for this is equal to e uh, sorry e 30, uh, 37 plus D 37 minus B dollar 28 and 
B dollar twenty eight means uh, zero correction. E thirty seven means uh, actual hydro reading R A and uh, plus D thirty seven uh, D thirty seven means uh, temperature corrections. So we can enter. Now we will going to enter and just drag the it down and we will get the other values for the percent finer we have a formula is equal to f37 multiplied by b dollar 27 multiplied by 100 divided by formula this formula you can get the formulas from net and now just you have to drag these values down by this small plus so now you are going to find uh, hydro correction only for uh, meniscus by we have formula e37 and uh, plus b dollar 29 and just drag to get the other values and now we will find the l correction length and uh, my is equal to minus 0 0.1639 and this is also the formula uh, for the correction length plus h37 plus 16.297 and just drag drag down now we are going to find l by t uh, we have formula for this i uh, 37 by b uh, 37 I37 uh, you know the L and uh, B37 is elapsed time and um, by entering we get the value and just drag to get other values you no need to put another uh, one by one formula in other value to get other values now we are going to find k uh, k which is equal to formula 0 0.017 multiplied by 2.718 one eight two eight one eight two eight power minus zero point zero one one seven multiplied by t thirty seven close the bracket don't forget to close the bracket and let's check these values and now we are going to find t and find t we have to yeah, press is equal to uh, first of all, we have to uh, drag the first value is equal to uh, from the sieve size. This value F16. This value F16. We will drag this and uh, we will add this value F16 by F dollar 16. And now v plus is equal to k 37 and this is the form of our uh, and other values of d multiplied by sqrt bracket j 37 and this now just drag this down to get the answer so now we have the correction percent finer and the formula for this uh, first of all we will get uh, the value and this by last passing value 1.34 here and would but don't forget to add dollar dollar 16 and now you have to put the formula which is g37 multiplied by g dollar 17 divided by 100 now oh, sorry and uh, that's formula mistake just change it to 16 not 17 uh, yeah now you have your own values uh, now press the enter and just drag it and just drag it down now you have completed the hydrometer analysis calculations uh, you have the table whole table now you will and uh, draw and uh, the graph uh, you can able to draw the graph uh, uh, in both both in the same graph or you can make a separate graphs I'm going to make the same uh, both graphs on, on the same graph so now just uh, uh, you have to add the data uh, again right click 
select data and add add series x values uh, from down the d values are the our rx values and just add them now correction finder your y values just add them or oh, yeah this uh, press ok yes look here your hydrometer analysis is also done and sieve analysis uh, so guys uh, it is not difficult i i'm going to tell you one more thing you can be able to whatever you want to add the text you can go to insert uh, text box and you can draw a text box and uh, like i have to draw a text box to uh, to show here that this is a silt silt by clay Uh, by this you can make many boxes or you can add a taxi so thanks for watching my video and if you have any queries comment and comment me and now we are going to add coordinate if you want to add coordinates uh, sieve size 19.05 and 0 0.07 I have taken here and by passing 0 to 100 so I'm going to add by clicking right click on the graph and selecting data I'm going to add coordinates add and in x values I'm going to give 19.05 both values and in y values I'm going to give this 0 and 100 so press ok to add the coordinates and this is the coordinate added now you can change its uh, color ah, sorry color by color to this yellow and you can also change the dash type i'm making this so this is how you can add the coordinates so um, you can also add the uh, coordinate of 0 0.075 0 0.075 and other coordinates if you want to add so this is uh, and this even analysis test calculation and the particle size distribution curve or hydrometer analysis so thanks for watching and subscribe my channel and comment and like please thank you